Hi all and welcome back to my channel. On this video I just want to talk about the GTX 1080 Ti and also on some other graphics cards. Um, yeah, you can do here some great modifications. Um, you can do here some uh, power modifications uh, which your graphics card will be able to run with a lot of more watts and you can also give the GPU here a little bit more power. I have now just watched uh, lots of videos about that and I had now about three or four guys that was asking me, hey NC, please watch this video and tell me what you think about. And yes, I was now watching some videos about this power modifications. And I really need to say, um, this it's a great idea. And it's, it's really a great thing that you can just give the graphics card more power. You can also, uh, yeah, overclock it, of course, more because you're going to be able to have more voltage and more watts where the GPU can just run better. Uh, but I really also need to say you're going to need a bigger PSU because you're going to need a stable, big power supply. Otherwise, uh, it can also happen that your system will just crash because uh, when your power supply has not enough watts, uh, the system will just crash. You need to know about that. So, And the other thing that I also see often was that the people was just um, yeah, painting some liquid metal over the parts and this is just really dangerous because you guys should know that liquid metal thermal paste should only be applied on some Cooper metal uh, surfaces. So um, if you just apply or apply uh, liquid metal on uh, aluminium or some yeah soldering contacts just like here, it can happen that it will eat with the time, it will eat the soldering contacts. And then these components, these parts, these SMD components will just fall down. <laughs> really guys, uh, I have uh, really had some people that was asking me, hey NSC, Please, please tell me what you think about this liquid metal stuff uh, to apply that over the, the, the components. And I really need to say, guys, this is not good because um, the, the liquid metal will really eat the soldering points, the soldering contacts. And that's why also the parts will fall down with the time because uh, I already have saw some videos uh, which the people was telling that, yes, uh, it happens to them. Uh, the, the SMD components uh, just, just was lying around in the computer case inside and I was just wondering why the graphics card was not working anymore and why they have just some trouble playing the games and uh, some of them was also thinking about that maybe the CPU is just destroyed or maybe the motherboard was just damaged or whatever but at last it was just because the people's has aptly here liquid metal over this shunts. So this stuff called shunts, this um, are some kind of SMD components, uh, which you can do just a bridge and then the power will go straight over there. And then you will, of course, be able to overclock it more. But I need to tell you guys, please just do not apply here uh, liquid metal over there, okay? Because I really saw a lot of people that they, they just paint uh, liquid metal thermal paste over there and of course liquid metal will transfer the power or the energy and uh, that's why it's also working but the time uh, <laughs> that it's just a question about the time how long it will work what will happen after that and and like i told guys liquid metal gonna eat the soldering contacts but you guys should know about that i have already done lots of videos where i also have apply liquid metal on some notebooks or CPUs, APUs, whatever. And I have really told you a lot of times, guys, you should not apply liquid metal on aluminum coolers or uh, some other metal, just only really on Cooper, okay? And um, soldering wire, this is not 100% Cooper, okay? Uh, and that's why it begins to eat the soldering contacts and then the parts will just <laughs> fall down, okay? So I don't know if I can just zoom a little bit in. And now you can see here the shunts and they just paint over here some liquid metal. And this is just like a small bridge, but you, you better get here a cable and then you just solder here a cable on this contact here and then you just do a small bridge and solder it down. Or you just take 
soldering wire with a soldering iron and you just desolder this part completely out and then you can just put some soldering or you can just do a small bridge over there and then you have the same. But please guys, do not apply here liquid metal because it will eat, it, it will just destroy the contact uh, uh, surface here. Okay, this is very important and that's why I do this video because like I told uh, one, two or three guys was asking me already, hey NSC, I heard you have now already also a GTX 1080 Ti. What you think about uh, over this power modification? And yeah, it's really great, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some more stuff and then you guys, um, you need to think for yourself if it's worth or not. So um, yeah, you can find a lot of stuff. You just need to Google around um, GTX, um, yeah, power mode or tech up and whatever. You're gonna find some more stuff, okay? So this is no problem. You already can read a lot about that. And I think the first guy that did that, uh, he uh, was from America or from USA, I'm not sure. And of course now we also here in Germany do that stuff. It's, it's, it's working, of course it's working, but please guys, do not apply here liquid metal. Yeah, I, I can now go here for, let's say, liquid metal. Um, and let's say liquid metal, uh, thermal paste, and it's uh, um, thermal greasy or the thermal paste, doesn't matter, thermal, thermal paste. I just want to find, or to find um, the um, specs and so and, and somewhere here it's it's written that you should not apply that on some other metal components just really on cooper and uh, let's say you're gonna buy one just like here case king uh, i'm now here on the side from case king or it doesn't matter where uh, you should never ever apply uh, or apply um, this thermal paste on uh, aluminium coolers or some other metal parts okay and somewhere you can also read here that uh, it's also uh, it's here not into contact or be used in aluminium surfaces okay here you can see that also and uh, this is the same as for soldering contacts you please do not apply uh, um, liquid metal over some soldering contacts and here's the problem because the parts will just fall down one time because it will eat <laughs> the soldering contacts okay guys you need to know that and that's why also it's everywhere it's written when you just yeah when you just begin to read some stuff it's always written important notes danger do not apply uh, the liquid metal over some other metal component just really on cooper okay that's important guys um yeah just wanted to show you that because you guys need to know about that and here just a small um picture that I have also found you. Uh, these are all YouTube videos and I really just don't want to tell some names because I don't want to talk bad about these peoples, okay? And all peoples makes uh, some mistakes sometimes. It's just okay, we are humans and all humans make some mistakes somewhere and also NSC makes some mistakes, so what's the problem? I just want to be true to you guys and I just want to be fair to all the people here. I don't want to uh, make some stress or whatever. I just want to say, you guys, please do not apply here liquid metal, okay? My uncle is also developer and engineer and <laughs> he just told me the same, this is uh, really danger, you better do not do that because you're gonna uh, destroy your soldering contacts. But you guys should know that already because if you know liquid metal thermal paste, you should know that you just apply liquid metal thermal paste just on Cooper. Uh, surfaces. Okay, uh, here it's also written, you can see the voltage and all the stuff and the guy has really just explained this all very great and what this mod will do and it's really great so uh, we don't need to talk about that. Um, I got here also another one uh, which I just wanted to show you. Um, here you can see also uh, how the guy here is um, yeah, just aptly here uh, liquid metal over the shunts. You got here one and as far as I have understand, you got here the second one, but it conforms which graphic cards you have, yeah? It conforms uh, which manufacturer, if, uh, if you have a EVGA or an ASUS graphics card or a graphics card from uh, Gigabyte or Palit or Zotac, it conforms where the shunts are sitting and you need to uh, just, yeah, 
yeah, do a bridge over there, and then of course it will uh, yeah pass the voltage yeah completely and directly to the uh, uh, GPU, and it will of course be better to overclock and all the stuff. I have you can read about that. It's not that um, it's not that hard to understand, but please do not do it like this. Okay, just take a cable and just solder a bridge from one contact to the other one with re with a real soldering iron. Or you just do Apple here, just all full with soldering stuff, and do just don't do that with uh, liquid metal because with the time it will eat the 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 contact. You see here, you got the contact, the small contact here and there. It will eat the soldering contact with the time, and this part will just fall down with the time. <laughs> so take care, guys, please. Okay, believe what I say because um, I, I'm a very skilled. Uh, guy with uh, when it comes to soldering stuff you know me already and that's why i just tell you this guys okay and the other thing is also um i got here a video where uh the the guy the guys had just test the the graphics card also uh, with the power modification and without and so far as i have understand he had about 9800 uh, score points and with that modification and also included some overclockings he was able finally to get a score about 9,968 points. Um, of course, I need to say here, uh, this guy has uh, or had an old driver. We are talking here about the driver 381.65. And I got for now, uh, of course, a newer driver. But I also need to say he has here the newest i7, or let's say newer than my processor he got here a, a way better processor as i have he got here a, a, an i7 uh, 6950x and uh, he has here about 32 gigabytes of rams uh, and the rest is just the same like i have i got also here uh, i got a, a gtx 980 ti of course and i have no power modification and i want just to show you my scores with just overclocking without a power modification and maybe maybe i do something wrong i don't know but i got a lot more scores i don't know why but it's maybe also because of my bigger bigger water cooling here i don't know but yeah um i just want not to talk bad about it, these people because they uh, they know what they are doing and it's really a great modification but you guys really need to think about is it really necessary yes or not and uh, if you do that guys you can do that, but just do not apply here liquid metal over these electronic parts, okay? You're gonna just destroy the soldering contacts with the time, and NSC uh, knows what he's talking about. Uh, I just want to show you my picture here. This uh, I, I think I, I was I have done this two days ago or whatever with my own overclocking, and uh, like you can see here, let me try to zoom a little bit uh, here, so. Well, this was just too much. So you can see here, I got here my very old Intel Xeon W3680. And um, yeah, I got here 24 uh, gigabytes of RAM. I got, of course, a GTX uh, 1080 Ti, also with 11 gigabyte VRAM. But uh, the only thing here is I got the newest driver, but I cannot imagine that the driver makes a such a big difference. But it's okay, I just want to show you that it's still no problem to use a big graphics card also with some older hardware. Because some people was asking me also, hey NSC, is it worth when I just use uh, one of the newest graphics cards with an older uh, CPU? And I, I always need to say yes, it's 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 working. Uh, of course, it will not. It will maybe not work with just a dual core or, or, or a cheapy quad core. But uh, as long as it comes to a six core, just like on Xeon, uh, you are good to go, guys. And I have already tested all. And maybe next time I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more videos that you guys can really see. Yes, I am using one of the newest graphics cards, included some other uh, older hardware like. Uh, I got here the, an older motherboard, which is the Asus Rampage Extreme 3. And I got here also, like you can see, an older CPU. Yesterday I was working around here and I have here on my table, wait, let me just show you. I have here on my table uh, just this CPU where, which you can see here, okay? I got here the um, Intel Xeon W3680, which I'm holding right now in my hand. 
wait because uh okay i cannot just do some lights right now but i just want to show you maybe i'm gonna give you some uh, wait now i got here some other lights so here you can see it already okay here it's written uh, w3680 as you can see okay i have just talked this out here this bad guy because i got in my living room um, the same cpu just a little bit uh, a bigger one because it's the bigger brother it's the w3690 and i was just working around so for me and i just think about hey you know what i'm gonna take the bigger brother to my computer which i have also the water cooling running on and that's why I have done here a test, but uh, I have overclocked the CPUs always on 4.2 GHz because it's just great and it's not too much and 4.2 GHz is really just perfect for those kind of Xeons. <laughs> so I'm gonna now just close this window and I have now um, just done again a test with the bigger brother like you can see right now here the W3690, okay, this is the bigger brother. Uh, on the socket uh, 1366 and this is yeah let's say that the biggest uh, cpu that you can get for the socket 1366 and here i had nearly the same results you can see that <laughs> i had already with the smaller uh, brother i had uh, more scores as with the new one but we are talking here about three or four points so it doesn't matter okay so this is just um not worth to talk about this stuff and you have seen that the other guy would included the power modification he had just 9900 points and i got here 10300 and that's really an amazing number okay and i have not used this power modification i have not bridged that stuff i have not aptly here some liquid metal on my components this graphics card is just running like it should be of course i got the big water cooling here and this was the result with um, the older CPU, let's say the, the smaller brother, and here are the scores with the bigger brother. So let me zoom, maybe you're gonna see more, but it's okay, you can see it already, okay? Here, uh, Intel Xeon W3690, overclocked, they are all overclocked here on my system on uh, 4.2 gigahertz, but um, this guy here is running stock on 3.4 or nearly 3, uh, 3.5 gigahertz and the smaller brother here is running stock on about 3.3 gigahertz like you can see wait let me zoom here okay you can see that's very great but overclocked they are boot on 4.2 gigahertz because i just like this number and it's just a stable overclock and we can also do again a test and the other thing that I really don't like that much is that the benchmark uh, superposition sometimes um, it's not always the same number and this is just a little bit strange because when I just have let's say a uh, hidden benchmark 4.0 or let's talk about Wally or let's uh, let's talk about um, 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 times uh, time spy uh, I get always the same numbers okay just like it should be but uh, somehow on the superposition this benchmark sometimes shows uh, 10,270 and sometimes 10,350. It's not always, always, always the same. So that's why I, as for myself, I don't like this benchmark really so much because I, I, I just like benchmarks which are really running uh, perfectly. And we can now do uh, just again a quick test that you guys can see. Uh, the graphics card is of course overclocked like I already told you. And uh, I got here no power modification. I got here not extra some voltage. I got here not extra some watts anymore needed. I just have overclocked it easy with uh, uh, the application like uh, MSI Afterburner. I'm running once of the oldest MSI Afterburner. I got here MSI Afterburner 4.20. <laughs> For some people, this is just old school, really, guys. And but it's like I told, it not needs to be always the newest um, software, okay? Because sometimes the newest software they are just not running stable. And uh, we will just do here now a, a quick test again for you guys can see. And you also can see here the the graphics card. The temperature is right now on uh, forty six degrees. 
which is really really cold uh, for a graphics card normally uh, the, this uh, graphics card the gtx 1080 ti's on air cooling would now run on about uh, let's say 75 or 85 degrees okay i'm not kidding so the gtx 1080 ti on air cooling they get really hot so take care guys okay and if you do that power modification of course your graphics card your graphics card gonna run even more hot or hotter and that's why you should take care guys yeah uh, and like i told for the newcomers on my channel again sorry for my english i know it's not the best okay but i just want that you understand what i say and if you can hear some uh, <laughs> some strange words or my language maybe it's not that great but you can you can think the rest yourself and you, sh you should be a smart guy and i think uh, the rest you can just uh, yeah answer yourself and uh, like I told, I just have a lot of people on my channel around asking me some stuff. And I even uh, I even doesn't have know about this power modification about, uh, uh, I, let's say, three or four weeks ago. I, I, I never have saw that power modification myself. <laughs> but uh, this guy just told me, hey, NSC, congratulations to your new GTX 1080 Ti. And here, take a look uh, what you think about that, yeah? And it was, it, it's really interesting and uh, it's really amazing. And yes, you can maybe overclock it better and, uh, and you will be able to get uh, some more voltage to the GPU. But of course, I need to say it will also run a little bit hotter and you should do that only if you really have a big water cooling because the smaller water coolings with the time they get hot and um, you will not be able to get some stable benchmarks because the water inside we're gonna begin to cook <laughs> and if you have not a big external water cooling you cannot do that all the day so you, you will maybe be able to run that about one hour or two but then the water gets really hot and that's why you should do that always just um, with a great um, external uh, water cooling and like you can see now i just got again 10,000. Uh, 220 and that's the stuff that i was talking about so that sometimes it's just a little uh, different yeah and sometimes it brings me 10,370 10,350 or just like in this case now 10,220 i could do again a test and let's see uh, how it will be again but this is this is this that i don't like on this benchmark so just let's ta uh, let's uh, talk about um Wally. Um, when I just do here a test, it brings me always nearly the same points, maybe one, two or three, uh, uh, less or more. But um, on the supervision benchmark, we are talking here about some hundred points, okay? Uh, sometimes it brings me uh, 10,370, 10,220, uh, but I get not under under that, and that's great. So I know I'm on the good way. And I know um, I have here a stable overclocking that's for me very important. And the most people are running this test here on 4K. And uh, we can go again for a test, I don't care about. And of course, it conforms as the temperatures, okay? I need to say that. Because when your graphics card uh, is really running very, very cool, of course, the boost clock will be stable and it will run, of course, a little bit higher and faster. And I need always to say that. So if you are running here a water cooling or uh, on air cooling, which the temperatures uh, are always uh, nearly on 85 degrees or 80 degrees, of course, it will not run that stable like here right now. But um, yeah, I don't know. The guy with the power modification, with this power mod, um, he reached about 9,900 points. And I have here not a power modification, and I have also a very old CPU, but I have just beat this record. I don't know why, but I think maybe I do something wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, just kidding, guys. Um, yeah, I just this is just also a proof for you guys that it not it, it it really not needs to be always the newest hardware. Okay, the most important, of course, for the graphics card and for the for the power. For the performance, of course, it's a great graphics card, okay? And uh, the rest, uh, it's, of course, up to the CPU 
and to the power supply because without power the stuff will not run stable and um, I got here now running now my system is running now on uh, 470 watts uh, we can yeah let's say about nearly 500 watts for the whole system I got here um, a small uh, Salman digital uh, display which I can see or uh, I can also read um, yeah how it calls the 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 power consumption and um, I can show you this already but the most people already on my channel they just know about that here you can see also the bigger water cooling that I got here and the big Mora 3 that I got here a really big radiator and this is all here just running very cool I can do this test all the day and the, the water stays still cool and that's really great and here you can see also that my system now right now it's just running about uh, 470 480 and you can see also here I'm really always uh, uh, under 500 watts but um, we are talking here for the world system just without the monitor so the benchmark now is uh, nearly finished and um, that's why I just put the camera back but I just wanted to show you this guys because a lot of people think when you want to buy the newest graphics card you will also need the newest CPUs or the newest motherboards okay and that's not like that and I'm the best proof okay guys so I'm here like I told on a motherboard which is on socket 1366 <laughs> with one of the biggest CPUs for the socket 1366 overclock it on 4.2 gigahertz and like you can see it's just still perfect so I don't need to buy some newest ones you can see I'm still good to go. So here again 10,216 and before this one it was 10,368 and uh, two days ago I had here uh, 10,370 so it's just moving a little bit and that's why I don't like this uh, benchmark that much. It's not that uh, really true. It's not that true. It's uh, It could be a little bit um, yeah, better. Uh, like I told um, if I run just benchmark uh, 4.0 I get always the same score and it should be like that okay and that's why superposition it's a great benchmark but in my eyes it's not the best I prefer to run uh, let's say uh, um, here uh, time spy which of course runs longer uh, on times on time spy uh, it's like that that um, you need to uh, let it run a little bit longer because time spy is a benchmark that really runs longer okay and um, it really will need a lot of performance of course too and that's that's why I say uh, you will really need um, um, a very strong power supply uh, when your power supply is not strong enough uh, your system will just crash guys I'm not talking uh, any bullshit and uh, that's why yeah guys uh, you should really think three or four times about and um, I can now do this benchmark too, but it will get, it will um, run again about 10 minutes and that's why I just want to show you that uh, this benchmark is really running great and um, I have nearly the same computer on my living room by, like you already know, I got, like I told you now, on my living room, on in, in my second computer, I got here the, the same CPU, like I told, this is just a, a little smaller brother, um, but um, I'm going to put this one here now on my system on the living room because I have not just talked the other CPU for my water cooling because here I just want to do also some tests for me but yeah at, at last it's the same you, you already saw that I had more points more scores <laughs> with the older CPU okay we are not talking about some bigger numbers but uh, they are all overclocked on 4.2 GHz, so this is the most important. And I got here really some older RAMs, I got here some older memories. So I'm working here on um, DDR3, okay? And the most people are right now on DDR4. But the next important thing that the most people forget is the, the um, latency times, okay? Because the, the CL speed, I don't know how to explain that in English, uh, but the, the latency speed on the memories is also very important and I'm running here now uh, 24 gigabytes on triple channel uh, but they are running here just only on 1600 megahertz 
my memories here are not the biggest and not the best and not the fastest and you can see that I have still <laughs> a very great uh, performance here. So that's why I just want to explain you guys it not needs to be always the newest stuff, okay? And you can see it runs just great. Um, and uh, we are here now on really uh, direct x12 and um, it's just running smooth like it should run for a single gtx 1080 ti and maybe in photo i'm gonna have a, a second one on sli uh, yeah but how can i explain that um, it's just not necessary for now i'm very happy for now because um, i had here uh, my oldest GTX um, 680s running on SLI and I was still very happy. I was still able to, able to play the most games and I have not just um, cut this and, and shut it down because this video is already now running 30 minutes and I just want also to show you that I'm really not talking bullshit. Uh, I have no uh, reason to uh, cheat on you guys. You can see here also my memories. They are running here. You need to calculate it now, okay? Because this is just uh, 842. You need to uh, calculate versus 2. Wait, wait, wait. Because here I'm just searching now. Uh, uh, wait, let me just get here. And mm -hmm. all right. So, and that's why you need to calculate that. Here we are now on 842. So that means 842. Um, versus to and uh, multiply it to uh, we got you know like i told you 1684 megahertz uh, it's the speed uh, what my memories are running and here are the clocks and you can see i got them running now on a latency like 99924 and the newest ddr4 uh, memories they are running here on about uh, 13 yeah, maybe sometimes on 14 or 12 or 11, but uh, sometimes the um, as small as these numbers are, the, the, the cache latency is very important also. And uh, I don't know, but I hope you was able to see that. Uh, I was just now watching myself on my display. I was not watching to the camera, but now you can see that. Okay, here you can see uh, the latency here is uh, very fast in, in my uh, opinion and i'm just happy with that and you can see also my my cpu here yeah you can see also the 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 clocks and uh now it's yeah it's just on idle and when i start some application uh the processor will run here on um uh, 4.2 gigahertz which is still just perfect and i got a stable system this is for me the most important and this all here is running with only 1.2 volts and I'm really still happy with this uh, kind of CPUs and I don't need anything more because the, the newest games also, they don't need uh, more than just, uh, let's talk about four cores or, or six cores processors, okay? Because some games, they have just also some problems with uh, some newer uh, CPUs with, let's say, about <laughs> 12 cores or 16 cores. Uh, the most games, they are just running... Uh, even as a really still good with just uh, about four cores and four tweets and maybe also six cores just like I have here six cores and and, and six tweets and all together with 12 tweets and you don't need anything more and this is also the video why I just wanted to show you that so um, I got here like I told no power modification on this graphics card and I have already had more uh, scores on the same benchmark with the same settings in an older system with an older motherboard with an older CPU and yeah just take care guys it's like I have show you guys okay I have here nothing to hide there's the GTX 1080 Ti and there are my uh, memories uh, running on triple channel and yeah I got here 24 a gigabyte of ROMs running like you can see I have also mixed them up because I got some older ones the the memories in red there are just some older ones and then I got here the course uh, dominators uh, the the silver ones they run normally on 2666 megahertz and the red ones they are running normally on 2000 megahertz but I have just set that all on BIOS that it runs just on 1684 because I got here also the best 
latency and the cache clocks and it's just okay guys and I'm, I'm really happy like that and you can see now this is the, the best proof for you guys that you can still use some older hardware <laughs> to be uh, yeah on the same uh, site like uh, the newest uh, components or the newest hardware like the newest uh, yeah i7 CPUs or the newest um, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9, of course they are really powerful but like you can see guys, this is the best proof, you don't need anything else guys, okay? And this is like I told, one of the newest graphics cards, the GTX 1080 Ti or GTX 20, or RTX 2080 Ti, doesn't matter, they are nearly the same and that's why I have shoes, this one here, because the first thing is, it's way cheaper and the second is I got the ASU 11 GB of VRAM and I got nearly the same performance so it not needs to be always the newest stuff. You need to be a smart guy just like me guys and then you can see what you have for, okay? So guys, this was all for me. Uh, I just gonna say now goodbye because um, yeah, it's late here. I just wanted to share this video with you guys because this is really one of the best proof that it not needs to be always the newest stuff and the power mod, yeah, it's great guys, it's great, but I just don't have it and I have show you right now on my benchmarks that <laughs> I have still uh, better scores as the guys that has made these power modifications and so for what? I shall do that for nothing, okay? And if I do that, I'm gonna not do it with the liquid metal thermal paste. <laughs> okay guys. Wish you the best, that was me, NC in the place to be. Take care guys, stay tuned on my channel and uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'll be back soon, okay guys. Take time and uh, uh, yeah, be careful with the coronavirus also and um, I'm sorry that I'm not that active and I'm sorry that I'm not doing so much videos that long ago, ago before but I have also my life guys and you know family goes first. And YouTube is just on second position or third because family always goes first in my eyes. Okay, so again, sorry for all and um, thank you for all, of course. And uh, I hope you like my videos because I have a lot of a lots of input for you guys, uh, lots of informations, and I work with that stuff uh, about thirty years nearly, and uh, I know what I'm talking about, and that's why I'm a smart guy. I think always three, four times before I buy something, and here's the best reason why, guys. And you can see that if you have not so much money, go and get you a 1366 motherboard, <laughs> which you can still have some great six core processors. And this Xeons, you can buy them already for just about 40 or 50 bucks on eBay, guys. I'm not kidding. Just search around the Intel Xeon W3690. Yeah, I bet you're going to find it. Uh, for about 60 or 80 euros, so it's not a big deal guys, and it's cheap, <laughs> it's powerful, <laughs> and yeah, for the players, not like Sony. <laughs> okay guys, wish you the best, see you soon, and bye bye.